sto cominciando a mettere giù, ma solo così. I began to make some sketches for the collection and to come up with some new ideas. At the moment, I'm working on the women's collection, but the men's collection also needs to be done. And that's why it's important to do everything quickly. If only it could take me six months like before. Now I have only three months at my disposal. You have to start work on the cruise collection before the shows, so that it will come out earlier. Just after the shows, you need to begin work with the fabrics and with all the rest. If formerly there was a two-month pause, now there isn't. Usually I get my inspiration from films. I get inspired by a lot of things that occur in my life, because now I have no chances and no time to travel. Fortunately, I'm very curious, and everything can be a source of inspiration for me. First of all, I watch a lot of films. It's my main source. Then, I look through a great number of magazines of all kinds, and I search for material on the internet. Nowadays, that's very important. To a lesser degree, I pay attention to the street and to the people. But to be honest, I'm not interested in that at all. I prefer Italian cinema of the 1950s to the 1970s. I like the extravagant films of the 70s, but contemporary Italian directors are also very interesting. Naturally, I watch films with beautiful women, but frankly speaking, I receive most help from neo-realistic cinema because I like very feminine and sensational imagery. Amando una donna molto femminile, molto sensuale, quello mi aiuta. Chiaramente Napoli mi ha aiutato molto, eh, per questo, perché io comunque ho iniziato... And of course, my native city Naples helps me a lot. I look at Neapolitan women. In my family there are a lot of women. It explains my choice of preferred colors. The body color of underwear comes from a recollection of my childhood, and I always adored it. And undoubtedly, southern women possess an innate sensuality, subconscious but strongly marked. It is very appealing to me. I dreamt of becoming an actor in my childhood. But, with the help of cinema, I found fashion. In the sense that I was captured by everything related to women's dress and accessories. When I do something, I need to do it thoroughly. From the age of 14, I began to buy everything related to fashion. Magazines, books, biographies, monographs. Because I wanted to understand the principles of the fashion world. I'm a self-made man. I've never studied at fashion institutes. And I think that fashion is my genuine passion in life. My choice wasn't a search for a happy medium, because I always liked fashion. But, oh my God, if someone offered me a role in a film, I would say yes immediately. I could even forget about work for a couple of months. Actually, one director has offered me a role. It's playing Papi Corsicato. <laughs> As for photo sessions, to what extent do you participate in them? I have a large input. I choose photographers who are as close to my vision as possible. And it's also worth saying that I always find photographers who will listen to me, even if they are very popular and big names. 
I have worked closely with Jürgen Teller, Stephen Klein and Helmut Newton. These great masters have all managed to fully understand my thinking. My friendship with Eva Rasht has lasted for years. She took part in my collections and now, how shall I say it, she has become a bit older and more mature. She appeals to me more now. I think she is even more interesting than before. I communicate with her a lot. Once she decided to become a designer, I helped her. I introduced her to underwear manufacturers. I know that now she is trying to become a director and she is making a video for her collection. And what your new collection will be like? Where did you get your inspiration from? Once again, it will be a collection for women. I adore femininity. I can't reject it. And besides, I think that a designer should be very consistent if he wants to be recognizable. My career is about consistency. But maybe, in some situations, I seem boring because of it. One can recognize my clothes despite fashion trends or colors. One must recognize style. That's why I'm an admirer of Yves Saint Laurent, because even after many years, his clothes are easy to recognize. Now I do work that is not very typical of me. I feel there's some challenge in it. It's the second season I take things outside of my character and try to make them more feminine. Now I'm fascinated by the idea of fencing and would like to develop it to make it more feminine, more sexual. I have to say that usually I can rely on myself because I'm a very ambitious person and when I decided to go into fashion I made up my mind not to pay any attention to anybody I just went straight ahead like a tank I see a picture of Kate Moss. What can you say of her? I don't pay attention to gossip or scandal. I think that despite everything, she is a real idol of style and personality. She has an unforgettable charm. She's very charismatic. She's strong. And even if she puts on rags, she makes something interesting out of it. And not all women can do it. For the same reason, I like Courtney Love. She turns clothes into something very personal. I like personality in women. A woman may be unhappy, unlucky, but the most important thing is her personality. As for friends, I have quite a close relationship with Dolce and Gabbana. We go on holiday together. We often meet. We don't talk that much about fashion, but we do about the rest of life. I also know Antonio Bellardi and Rossella Tarabini. I have quite a close relationship with them. And with the rest, my relationship is neighbor-like. I admire some of them. For example, I wanted to get acquainted with Donatella Versace because she's unique. She's a beautiful woman and has a very attractive personality.
siamo in 6, uh, perché io lavoro disegno molto, mi piace molto disegnare, quindi there are not so many people in my team. There are six of us. I adore painting, and I also do a lot of other things. We are few because I like to work surrounded by faithful people who have been with me for a long time. We're like a family. There's Franco. He deals with accessories, bags, shoes, glasses, and also fabrics. Then there's Massimo. He's in charge of the men's collections. He's also been working with me for a long time. And here's Lisa, a computer queen. She does surveys for us. I'm not good with computers, and she helps me with that side of things. Matteo and Franco, they deal with accessories. And now, two guys are missing. Alessio and Francesco, who help me to work on the women's collections. And let's not forget Valerio, from the editorial department. That's not so many people. You have a lot of books. Yes, I'm fond of books. I go to bookshops and search the shelves. In my office, I have a lot of books and magazines. I don't ever throw anything away, because I know that someday it will become useful. Is there a book where you always find answers? Certainly. It's Yves Saint Laurent. Different books by Yves Saint Laurent. It's like the Bible to me. I look through it very often. But there are also other books. Here you can always find something. Take some idea. He's never out of fashion. And he's always interesting. This is the only one we are using for the new collection. And downstairs we have an archive of vintage collections. Every season we go downstairs and look for things that could be of interest to us in the here and now. It's not a secret, is it? No, 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 no. And this is a corner dedicated to the world of La Perla. Certainly not. I look to this collection a lot. I really like La Perla, and it's close to my own work. Mondo.